Hello everybody and welcome back to Tides of Death. The enemy is slain or fled. All that remains is the bard who stops an the playing as the battle winds down. As Nilrum chases him to shove him off. As Nilrum walks over there, I'm walking over to the kid. No, I'm not walking. I'm running. I rolled yeah, okay, the sure, but I, yeah. No, no, that's fine, but I'm just going to, I'm okay. not interrupting you. I'm just going to save the kid. Save the kid. Still save the kid. All right. You go over to the kid. The kid is unconscious and bleeding. Um, they were at negative one when the combat started. I'm gonna just guesstimate that it's been about six rounds. So he's probably at like negative seven by now. All right, I wanna pull out one of the, uh, like I open one of the tins in the chest mm -hmm. and on his largest wound, I'm gonna apply some of the solve to his wound and attempt to stabilize him. All right, Question. so while you're doing that, Nilrum is what? Does that stabilize instantly? I would assume so, right? Because it wouldn't make sense for someone to be down. You put that on them and then, yeah. Right, but you're going to need to apply the negative HP worth of damage um, in this situation. Well, I, so you're going to have I'm to use it. like I, seven I, I out mean, of nine charges on the no, 10. No, no, no. I'm using one and I'm then make, I'm going to make a stabilized roll as well at the same time. I would argue gotcha. that I get maybe okay. advantage on the roll or a bonus. I think I can stabilize for free if you just ask me to do it. I well, I'll save. try and do it. If I fail, I'll call you over. But give it a shot. May I get a bonus or with advantage or anything? Um, no, no, because the solves the different effects together. Just roll your stabilize. Yeah. Okay. You can stabilize. You throw sand in the wounds. You apply the solve mixed in with the sand. <laughs> and you All take the while, off him. you throw sure. sand on him. <laughs> All the while, Nilrum comes running along yeah. the walkway. The bard with the instrument at their side looks up to Nilrum as Nilrum comes charging. And Nilrum shoves him off. Proudly. Give me an opposed strength check. 30. Oh! Jesus. I hate bards. Fuck. Yeah. <laughs> with a good kick, the bard crawls onto the ground. Roll me d6 for damage. Okay, hear me out. I would like to roll two things. I want to roll damage. But I also, want to, I also want to roll either a saving throw on his, you know, his loot. And if you won't do that, I want to roll which way he lands to see if we can roll a saving throw. The loot is still up here next to you. Oh. They had finished okay. playing and then set it down on the ground when you came over and kicked him off. One damage. Ugh. How does his loot look? It's in great condition. It's got little designs on it. It's clearly custom made. You know, I don't it's know magical. how much you could sell it for, but like, it's a really look at this. Yeah, that's a pretty <laughs> loot. <laughs> no one picks it up, gives John a look, the gives him a nod, rolls over onto their back and looks at you holding the loot. No one fucking smashes it. <laughs> Fuck Barnes. It shatters into a thousand pieces. The bard gets to their feet. Tosses their poncho over one shoulder. Oh wait, I say, I Archie, handle him, please. And I point. I'm looking. Oh, over, I'm looking over into the uh, John. As the bard starts starts to walk last night, where the fuck do you think you're going? Thank you, John. Sit the fuck down. They take a seat over here, look longingly at the broken loot, and then just dip their head and look at the ground, letting the sombrero fold far over their head, <laughs> kind of to shadow their face. This guy's cool as fuck, I think to myself. I think he's kind of, he's the coolest bard I've ever seen. Doesn't mean true. he doesn't have to die. True. Well, no, that last bit's not true, but he is cool. He's so cool. Uh, oh, Captain, right. if it would please you, we need to round the rest of them up as well. I'll point to the room where I saw the guy hiding. I think he might still be in here. Mm -hmm. All right, Archie, there's one in that room. Go and get him. Or uh, knock him out or whatever. Yeah, he shut the. she shut the door, right? Yeah, they shut the door in this room. And there was another oh, one that's... that ran to this room, and someone who ran under one of the places downstairs over like here-ish. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'll go over to the one that went into the room. That's, I assume the door is locked. Uh, which, there are three, though. Which one? Down, up, or up? Um, down, I guess. Okay. Yeah, you can go over to that room and let's take a look at that floor for just a moment. Um, yeah. You can go to the room. The door is shut. 
Uh, it is locked, but it's also not a particularly strong room. You could use an open doors check to easily force open the door. Oh, uh, yeah, I'll do that. That's a d20. Um, you want lower than or equal to your open doors check on a d20. Which is... Uh, strength row on your first page of your character sheet right next to the Ben bars. Yeah, it's 10. Okay. I want lower than or equal to? Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> oh, dude. You give a nice strong kick. The door flies off its hinges. The thug goes flying with it who's been hiding in the back of the room. They scramble onto the back bed. Um, Hold a pillow wanna, up in front of themselves. I want to drag her into the courtyard by, by her hair. Yeah, you can get a hold of her, drag her out into the room. Um, Captain, do you want me to go for the others as well? Hold it still for a second. I'm gonna come over here. I, got I, pull, so, I pull some rope off my belt, uh, off my like you know side or whatever. I don't tie this person up. I have a rope use proficiency, so I think that should be straightforward enough. She offers little resistance, mm -hmm. and soon is tied up. All right. There's another one up here, and another one over there somewhere. I say pointing to the two rooms. I'll go to the nearest one first. This one over here. All right. Uh, you get to the room. The door Open is door. unlocked because it oh. is uh, not lockable from the inside. And you will find that the window to the room is open, and whoever was in there has escaped. Um, I assume they're far enough away for it. Nothing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Right, they got I'll a few go rounds ahead of you. They could be anywhere by now. Got it. I'll go check the last room. Uh, I did not make a check for this last one. Uh, I'm going to go hand the bard his broken loot and spit on him and take his hat. The bard, as you take the hat, he looks up at you. Why'd you have to do this to Lucille? I fucking hate bards. It's not much. It's not against you. It's just my one of my traits. Fuck bards. What happened to you in your life that you don't like music? You know, him looks down at his feet. Once, <clears throat> when I was a young wizard, I went to uh, one of the shops. One of the bards <laughs> took me out back, and he beat me. It's not where I thought it was going. No room <laughs> sheds one tear. And ever since then, hated all bars and all music. Uh, Archie will let one guy beat you up. That's it. That's not it. a very strong man, Archie. Okay? You got What's the spirit of a warrior in you. If I the person that's ever beaten me up, I would never go to a bar ever again. You got the spirit of a warrior in you. If I had my instrument, I'd make a song about it. He looks down at the tattered remains of his loot. Another time. Do you want to die? I'd no, rather not. Man. Death comes for us all eventually. Anon. You're gonna you keep your always... hat. I'm, I'm fond of it. It's yours for the taking. And he uh, dips his head again. Kind of stares into the ground, this time without the cool hat to cover his view. I'll kick some sand on him. Looks back up at you with, like, squinted eyes. No need to add insult to injury. I kick sand on him again. No, stop, stop. The bullying. bard gets to his feet. <laughs> hey. Sit back down, unless you want to fucking die. I spit on him. I don't no want to die, but I'm not going to let you treat me like shit. Well, you're going to get you're going to keep getting treated like shit. And I stab him with a dagger. Jesus. Oh, oh shit. Dude. I take a Did step I... back. Go ahead and make me an attack oh, wow. roll. <laughs> Your boy's going to fucking die then. <laughs> uh -huh. Aha. You miss wildly. <laughs> um, let's roll initiative. The bard uh, oh, that should be a d10. Whoops, 1d10 plus 3. Uh, goes oh, first. Fuck off. Oh, shit. Um, I'm, I'm the bard staying out of this. Nope. Reaches into their poncho, pulls out a dagger of their own, and uh, 
I'll just make an attack roll off the character <clears throat> sheet. <clears throat> Takes a stab with the dagger. Whoosh for you. Miss. Yeah, and squares no off. No room. Dagger Takes in hand. Takes a stab. His dagger. Whoosh. Misses. Wait, he has a I'll plus five to hit. Oh, fuck off. Did you see how much <laughs> HP that guy had? You did like nine damage, and the HP yeah, was not even halfway down. That's why we don't want to kill him. Well, I'm going to wait. Nilrum, for the boss Nilrum is yeah. willing to die for this cause. So okay, well, motherfuckers better there's step a... up, or I, I will no, lose this no. character. I don't give a fuck. I'm waiting, for to, I'm waiting for Nilrum to go down. This is a fair fight. Yep. Sail? Everyone's like stepping it. out of the way. Let's okay. Yeah, yeah. Let's stay it. All right. All right. Let's I'll, do it. I'll stand next to John and we'll you go first. Watch this happen. Two. Uh, another miss. The bard will will make their attack against you. Oh my god. <laughs> they, you take a stab. The bard comes up and underneath your arm, getting right into it. 2d4 damage. It's five. The bard leaves you at one. Drops the dagger to the ground and takes a step back. You had right, enough? Had enough. Or are you thirsty for enough. more? I roll to initiative again. Uh, no, I'm, I'm fighting until no rope goes down. I'm, st I, I'm, I'm stepping He doesn't in. have a dagger anymore. Nope, that was their yeah. only dagger, actually. Okay. Uh, so till uh, goes me. to step in. Archie gets there first, though. It looks like. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm punching the bard. Thank you, Archie. Wait. Oh, no. Oh, you critical you. the bard in the face. Uh, so two and eight, no, uh, so seven uh, times 1.2, right? Am I still enlarged? Yeah. It's 20. It's like 20 rounds. Yeah. 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 Thank so God. it's 12 damage. It is a, a solid blow to the bard who just goes toppling to the ground and, and stops moving. And goes. Uh, attack number two. Uh, yeah. Wait, I mean, the bard goes down. It's like, okay. I splayed out on the floor. I put my hands out to both of you. Stop it. Sorry, okay, that's enough. you didn't roll into initiative. <laughs> Is it Nilrum's turn, Mr. DM? I'm just talking. I can talk. I can okay, talk. that's fair. You can make your action, Nilrum. Bard is Nilrum unconscious on the ground. Jumps on him and fucking stabs him. Roll me a roll to hit. Yeah, you crit. Five damage. Sorry. The bard is definitely bleeding to death. Unless Good. someone actively tries to save their life, Torn is gone. Thank God <laughs> Archie, Archie has Archie. Some Archie. Stop, Nora. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll hold him back. Thank God Archie has some sense. Oh, uh, yeah, I'll... Right. Me, Sale's gonna, Sale's gonna... I, I hold... I would like I... a strength check. Did we just lose someone? Uh, it looks like yeah. Sale is attempting to bind the bard's wounds. Okay, well, hold, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's slow down a little bit. Okay. So Archie's holding me back, yeah? Yeah. But I'm already on top of him. Mm-hmm. So, so post strength check. Away. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Archie versus Nilrum. Thank you. 25. Oh, Archie. Can you beat a 25? The wizard is slippery. You know, all those big folding robes and bolts of cloth. They just kind of slips right through it. Um, Sail is another attack. unable to speak for themselves, but has said that they would like to prevent the death of the bard. But in order to do that, you would have to get Nilrum, who's stabbing with a dagger off of him. Mm -hmm. That was failed. I think Nilrum should get another attack, which uh, auto we roll hits. initiative. We roll initiative. You should roll initiative. I think Sale's going to try and pull you off as well. Yeah, okay. me too. Ooh, bad roll for Sale. Okay. Ooh. <clears throat> Captain Winner. Captain Winner goes first. I want to uh, hit Nilrum with the flat side of my dagger. You want to do non-lethal damage? Mm hmm Am I getting any bonuses for back attack or anything here? I mean, he's like on the ground on top of this guy. Yeah, um... I'm slapping him across the back of the head. Sitting is plus two, prone is plus four. He's kneeling on the person, so I'll say plus three. However, um, when making non-lethal weapon attacks with lethal weapons, there is a penalty to hit. It is... Okay, I don't mean to argue this too much, but I feel like Archie... You telling Archie to pull him off was probably your turn for that initiative. It was last round. Archie attacked twice that round. Why does he get a strength check that round? Because you were trying to break out of his, his grab. Right? We just rolled Archie... this round. <clears throat> yeah, hold on. 
because I don't care too much about this, but I just want to get it right. Mm -hmm. So what happened last round was Archie popped the guy twice. He fell down. Mm -hmm. Nilrim jumped on him and stabbed him. Mm -hmm. That was that round. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The this way that, next that's round, the way I it too. this next round, you told Archie pull him off. Yeah. yeah. He attempted to. Yeah, I think Archie already made his action for this round. He's been. Yeah, he's yeah, trying yeah. to pull that, the that wizard was, off. That yeah. Wiz Winter shouldn't probably be going now due to the fact that he told Archie to pull him off and he wouldn't have attacked me until Archie and I did the strength check. But if you're going to go, then saying... he should also be able to make roll into initiative, right? Because a word to Archie to pull him off is different than Sure, but he, he 100% pro well, Nick can say for himself, I'll believe his word. Did you think that Archie was going to be able to handle Nilrum and pull him off? Did you really yeah, want to roll into Yeah, of course, but I feel like he's, he's failed and you're still stabbing the butt. Well, I should get an attack roll then, right? I'm on it. What's well, initiative? Is it? Well, okay, that's fine. Sure. I, yeah. I don't know. I just... That's fine. All right. So what's the negative meal? Uh, it's minus four to hit for non-lethal, and then plus three for the pro kneeling per person. So um, and, and plus two for back attack as well. Two for back attack. Yeah. So a total of a bonus of one, I think. Yeah. Okay. Get me now. Nope. Unlucky. Miss. Uh, you'll go before sale can get to you. I auto hit. You auto hit. You can roll for critical if you want. No, no. He means you no, can no, roll you... the dice to see if oh, you get crit. Yeah, right. roll attack, roll the crit. Okay, so four damage. Four, and you would last round you had done five. Four and five is nine. And Archie had done. Yep, that'll do it. Tarn He's is dead. dead. Tarn is dead. He stabbed me stop. Norm real hard. You can fucking fuck Norm up. I have no problem with that. No, I, mean, I, I started all right. Oh, well, at least you got him, Norm, eh? Well done. I got him. Magic man, you're fucking insane. He right, fucking stabbed me, Archie. What do you expect He played me to do? some good tunes, man. I was yeah, vibing you, out there. It you was were sick. fucking him up with me. I dust myself off. Yeah, because I'm not going to let someone kill a party member. Because right, the right. party goes before everyone. Man, I agree. This, we'll talk about this later. We still got to deal with Spike. True. Archie, sail, come with me. And uh, I'm going to walk up to Spike's room up here, presumably backed by Archie and sail. I checked this guy's shit, because I don't think no one can fight. Sorry. Yeah, you can stay there and make sure he's dead. Yeah, I wonder why. You can begin to loot the bodies. <laughs> yeah. You get to the door, it's locked. <laughs> All right, I, uh, I give it a knock. Spike! There's no response. Alright, I take out my lockpicks. Well, is it like a shitty door or a better door than the other ones? It's an average door. Regular lockpick uh, chance. Can you give this a go? Check. Yeah. Open doors check to bash it down. Ten or below. Nope. No, you give a nice good kick into the side. Uh -huh. Alright, I, I start picking locks. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And roll me a d10 for how long it takes. Yeah, it's not that tricky of a lock. You can enter inside and find that there's sort of like uh, a, a walk around. Okay. I know that he might, he's probably not there, but I'm just, I don't walk in and get ambushed by someone waiting on the side of the door, okay? <laughs> you know me yeah. too well, Nick. Yeah. Right. So I look around, make sure there's no one there, and yeah. I'll walk in. It's got this weird, like, walkway sort of pattern that leads down to a room on the first floor. I start whistling. Spike, you here? I think we need to have a word. You come down and find that uh, one of these doors is open. And it looks like Spike has fled through a I series of open doors. Looking in the, in the room, do I see any obvious place where there like was a chest based on like there being no dust or like drag marks through the dust or something like that? Yeah. Does it look like he's stolen yeah, away? Yeah, right over here, stolen? there's like uh -huh. a little bit of sand, but then there's a nice, clear, rectangular spot where there is no sand. Has he got bottles of drink over here? Yep. I leap on top of this table and then jump down through the side and grab a bottle and throw one up to sail and arch as they come down the stairs. It's all port. Lots and lots of port. Yeah, mm. and then I uh, I take my, my rapier and cut the... Have you seen, have you seen like, officers do that where they can, you, rather than use, like, a, a bottle opener, you can just, like, slice off the end. Yeah, I yeah, do yeah. that and start. Take a swig of the port. 
Well, I guess we got what we came for. It looks like he made off with his treasure, but we can still loot the rest of this place, take the weapons and stuff. And, uh, good port. Be on our way. Yeah, it's not bad. I wonder where he stole this. Um, so I think we do it once over the base nail, grabbing any, like if the men have sleeping quarters, maybe there's a few. Sure. You can find around. 479 silver. Um, I think it's the party sheet. 1,041 copper. Mm -hmm. How much silver was it? 487. 479. And 61 gold with a really good gold roll. 61 gold? Not yeah, you're the first actual gold that you've come across, I think. No, I, I've got a little bit on me. All right. Yeah. Okay. This is scattered so sort of all over the place. It'll take you the better part of an hour or two to... Maybe not two, but the better part of half an hour to gather up this stuff. Um, and there are plenty of boxes and chests around. You can empty someone's clothes out onto the ground and stuff a, a box full of coins. Um, yeah, in addition, um, you can get those healing poultices. Now, Spike did get one. Um, there were... 18 healing poultices, uh, not healing, um, healing solves in this bin. Uh, so 17 left? 17 left. And you used part of one on the, the wounded little Bobby, right? Yeah. Yeah. So what, we got 16.9? Ish, yeah. So here's the thing. Unless you can get little Bobby back up to walking, you're gonna have a hard time getting him back to the dead, back to the ship. What are you gonna do? Like drag him all the way back to the ship? It's like a two-day journey through the desert. There's a barrel outside, but how well is that gonna drag through the, you know, the desert? Yeah. You, he really needs to be able to move over over his own, under his own accord, or have someone or something carry him if you want him to stay alive. So you could use one of these poultices now, and he would probably be back up in a couple of hours. Um, enough to limp along. It would take um, you six more charges, and each poultice has nine charges within it. Uh, I go over to him. I open the... I leave the ones in the chest for the gathering for the party sheet, and I open okay. the one that I've got on my carriage sheet. And I will save his life. All right. So it'll take six more charges. Each one contains nine charges. And that is that. That's it. So I, I completely use the one I've got left on my party sheet. And I will take one off the party sheet and give myself a new one here. Yeah. How many were in the... 18. We gave 18. one to Spike. So that's 17 left. Um... And Spike is gone out of the compound? Yeah, he's yeah. gone. He just walked away right, in the I'm middle gonna... of the battle. I'll keep them on me for now, but I'll put them on the party sheet once we're off. Once we're back in base, you know. What's on the, uh, the bard's sheep? Ah. Uh, Better be um, something good. I'm getting a lot of flack right now, Koibu. You know, <laughs> surviving the flack is is worth it just to show it to people. Stick it's it to them, right? It's going to be easy to survive this one. Yeah. So the bard had some silver and some copper on them. Um, there's the dagger that they dropped into the ground. Uh, there's the hat that you've already taken from them. Their oh, yeah. poncho, some clothing, and like a, a half-empty flask of whiskey. Adding the flask to my character sheet. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Cool. Um. Okay. I think we wait for the kid to get back up and then make our way back to the boats. But if Sail isn't coming back, should we? Yeah, why don't here? we go to another break um, mm -hmm. a little bit early and we will just see what's going on with Sail. Let him try and get his internet back and we will let you know what's happening. Um, yeah, see you guys on the other side can... of the break or see you next session.